Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another review, and today we have a review here. This is a product called Bromley's for Men, and what this is guys, is this here is a razor. This is a razor, and th the message I received from this company is it seems like this company here is kind of like a competitor to like Dollar Shave Club. And uh, all those uh, big, you know, Harry's and all those type of guys. So yeah, and also, not only that guys, but the story in which how I got this product was also quite interesting. So usually on Facebook, I see these free things all the time. Oh, fill out your information. Oh, buy this. And it's free. And usually there's some BS shipping charge. So I never actually buy it. Or if there is no shipping charge and it's actually free, I just simply never receive the item here. But this is a rare exception where one of those Facebook free promotions actually worked so i'm really happy to say that we actually got the product here so that's pretty cool because so bromley's good job guys you you, you offered your product for free and you actually delivered to the consumer so that's pretty cool so we have a little coupon here uh, for one dollar fifty off any two Bromley shaving grooming products here, so that's a good way to get customers through the door. Here is try to get them to buy your creams because you're offering a free uh, razor here. Unfortunately, the promotion has ended, but they're quite affordable on Amazon, so don't worry too much about that here if you can't get it free here. So, guys, here is another little advertisement here. Um, it, basically, this is like their social media sharing thing. These are all the different products they have here. And yeah, here's another thing here. They want you to make a five-star review and all that stuff. But you don't have to. And they don't, they don't even mention where they want you to do that. So anyway, not too important. So guys, we do have the actual kit here. So there actually is shaving cream. To be honest, I didn't even know that. I thought for sure I was just going to get one of their premier razors here. So let's take this bad boy out. And I have to be honest, this is a pretty high quality um, razor. I mean, this is aluminum. This is not plastic. This is straight up aluminum, which I'm I'm surprised to be honest here. So it almost looks like a pen. You guys see what I'm talking? This this does this not look like a pen to you? But yeah, you can't even spin the bottom. So this is obviously not a pen here. The cap here comes off with a simple little tug. Like that. And there is the extra razor. Let's see, let's see how this thing feels. Yeah, it feels, it feels pretty soft here. So I'm going to be doing a comprehensive review in a moment here, guys. So yeah, don't worry. Stay tuned for that. I'm doing it right now. So don't worry. It's not going to be a separate video. I'm going to put the razor down right here. So you also have this thing here. This is... This is a razor burn reducing cream. So you use this. This is the step two cream here. And this is step three. So you're going to be using this before you shave. It looks like this is a sample. It's called the Velvety Shaving Cream Razor Burn Reduction Cream. So if, you, if you're somebody who's taking away, taking away a lot of hair, then something like this could be more useful than to somebody like me who shaves on a daily basis anyway. So there's not that much to shave. What we have here, this is the post-shave balm here. So you're going to want to use this to your face and neck here after you shave. This is step three. There's something called the step one velvety exfoliating cream. We don't get that cream here. It's not necessary, which is why they did not include it here. But if you if you want an exfoliating, an exfoliating cream, well, you can get that. Once again, that's probably more for somebody who has an excessive amount of hair. So I, I'm going to shave for you guys right now. I just have a little bit of facial hair. You can kind of see it. You, you guys see that, right? It's, it's a 5 o'clock shadow. Um... I, I actually intentionally leave the 5 o'clock shadow on because it does make you look more older. But at the same time, it doesn't make you look like a, like a freak, you know, like a, like a hair. It's hard to explain the look I'm going for. But it, what I learned, guys, is in the corporate world here, the corporate world. You know, I just had an internship in Manhattan. And I learned that clean shave is just the way to go. But that doesn't mean a 5 o'clock shadow is bad. Because it gives you a little bit more maturity to your appearance. But a full beard is just something you don't really see in the business world. It's just It really just isn't tolerated in my experience here. So let's open up the uh, step two. Uh, velvety shaving cream razor reduction gonna uh, tear off here. I don't see a clear. Here we go. So there's a clear little tab right here. Just gonna. So that came off. I don't think I got all of it off, but I did. I did get a little bit off, and that should be enough here to actually get what I need. So I'm gonna use my right hand for this. Got a little bit of cream here, gonna just rub it on. 
That's obviously not going to be enough. It smells very good. So I got a little bit more in here. Let's just put it on. I'm, I'm not doing everything. I'm just going to do the beard that I have right here. To be honest, this is probably more of a goatee anyway. But put a little bit more on. Mm hmm. The mustache, guys, I don't have a mustache. I always shave the mustache. So it's really just this part right here. Put, put more on here. Mm -hmm. Do under here. All right, guys, that should be a, that should be sufficient for now. So I just used the... Uh, the, the, the razor burn reducing cream here. We're going to put that here. And we're going to use this product now. This is a razor. One important thing, guys, is you, you see uh, you see the grooves right here. So you want to follow the grooves and go ag with the grain. Don't go against the grain. That's how you get more razor burn. So I'm going to go with the grain, which is up to down. You want to make sure that you know. You're, that's my bad. It's actually up to, it's actually up to down like this. Not, not this. It's actually this. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> I, I may have to put more cream on. Uh, yeah, it's sticking. It's sticking really bad, actually. So this is a good sharp razor. I like to see it. Sh it's very sharp. But I'm going to have to put a serious amount of cream on here. Because this actually, this actually hurts here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Now, let's try it now. It still kind of hurts. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. That's why. So it's supposed to be like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how long this razor is supposed to last. How many usage here. Maybe it says it somewhere. Hmm. Alright guys, so we're done here, and to be honest, it doesn't seem like this is really a close shaver. That's okay, it's not a big deal because, you know, I'm already pretty closely shaved with my other razors. Because it seems like this is more for the person who wants to get to this level than the person who wants a 100% clean shave. So if you're somebody who has a ridiculous beard, you know, and you want to shave it, it seems like that's really what this is going to be for. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely cleaner than before, but as you can see, there's still hair. So, it seems like this product is meant for, like, somebody who really wants that, like, kind of like 5 o'clock shadow, kind of like mature look. But it's not for somebody like me who really just needs it to be clean shade because I get a 5 o'clock shadow. I can grow, I can grow a 5 o'clock shadow in about 12 hours. So, I shave my beard once a day to make sure it stays a 5 o'clock shadow. So, something like this kind of would help, but not really because I need to be very uh, fine. So, not for me, but hey, I still respect them. And we also have this cream here. This is the uh, Balm Post Shave here. I mean, I don't really have any problem with, with, with uh, burning or anything, but hey, what they gave to me, and they really wanted me to try them, I'm guessing, because why else would they include it in the package? So. We're going to do the same thing here. So it seems like it's, it's intended to be such a small little cut like that. So it seems like that's actually intended, which is surprising because wouldn't you want to get a nice big opening to just get all of it out? So I'm going to put some cream on here. It smells like a very velvety, fruity type of taste. Oh, not taste, but smell. I can't say it really does anything for you. But it, no, they gave it to me, so I'm going to try it, you know. So yeah, guys, you know, that's kind of my overall review here. So let me just sum it up quickly, even though I kind of just did that a minute ago. But basically, this is for somebody who has a, a very, very nice looking beard and wants to make it a little bit more professional looking. It's not for somebody who has a relatively small beard already, like me, because it seems like this is just not for me, you know. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. You know, this not every product is made for everybody, and I understand that already. So overall, 
all, guys. It's cool. If you do want to buy this, Amazon link will be down below. It's a nice aluminum shaft, and it's pretty cool. But maybe not for me, but that's okay. Overall, Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. Put on the notification bell as well. Don't forget to do that. It's very important. Check out pbosonline.com. I'm getting my shop set up guys soon you're going to be able to buy products i you see on the show on my website you can buy it directly from me you're actually buying my unit and i'm giving a significant discount as well so you know it's mainly for stuff that i that i uh, acquire over the years and don't need it's not really going to be stuff you see on reviews here you may see a couple but at the same time the companies i work with they don't really want to see me reviewing their product then going behind their back and selling that product right at a reduced rate. So I'm going to try not to do that. It's really going to be a shop board for just stuff I have that I could sell on eBay. But, you know, I'd rather sell it to you guys for a discount. You know, stuff like that. Hometown discount. So overall, guys, really hope you enjoyed that video. And thank you. Bye.